All right, friends, today our godly play story is called The Synagogue and the Upper Room. This is the synagogue in the village of Nazareth, where Jesus is from. I'm going to take this front wall off so that you can see inside a little bit better. After Jesus had been in the desert for 40 days, he crossed back over the Jordan River and he went back home to Nazareth. He went to the synagogue, which was his custom. He went to the reading place and then he opened up the scroll of Isaiah and he began to read it. This is what he read. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. After he read the scroll, he rolled it back up and he sat down. They began to discuss the reading and then Jesus said something like, Today the scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. It has come true. When the people heard Jesus say this, it made them very angry. He was not the Messiah. They knew that he was just Mary and Joseph's son. They took Jesus outside to the edge of the village where there was a cliff, and they wanted to throw him off the cliff. But Jesus turned around, and he walked up into the hills. Many days later, Jesus found the twelve, and he began his work. Then, finally, it was time that he turned towards Jerusalem for the very last time. He and the twelve came into the city on a Sunday. He taught in the temple on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of that week. On Thursday, the temple guards could not find him. They wanted to go and take him away, but they couldn't find him. Jesus and the twelve were walking through the dark, narrow streets late that night. When they came to a house, and they climbed the stairs, and they went upstairs to an upper room, and this is where they shared their very last meal together. After they had eaten all that they wanted, Jesus took some bread, he gave thanks to God for the bread, and he broke it, and he shared it with them. And he said something like, any time that you share bread together like this, I will be there. But he was there. Then he took the wine. He gave thanks to God for the wine and he shared it with the twelve. And he said something like, any time that you share the wine like this, I will be there. He was always saying things like this. What could he mean? They could not understand what he meant right then, but they did not forget it. And later, they would understand. Now, I want you to watch carefully what happens now. I wonder what this could be. We joined the synagogue together with the upper room. 
I wonder what shape it makes when it's put together. I wonder if you recognize anything in this structure. I wonder if you recognize the reading place. I wonder if you recognize the scripture. I wonder if you recognize the table, the symbol of the cross, and Jesus right there. Friends, think about this, talk about this. I wonder if this could actually connect the Old Testament, the readings of the synagogue, with the New Testament, the upper room, the story of Jesus' Last Supper. Think about the shape of this, too. Thank you for joining us today for this story, The Synagogue and the Upper Room.